we should not misuse members who are shown in uniform of the three services or for that matter anybody should be displayed in poster, uh, uh, posters which are uh, furthering or publicizing their own delegates or candidates. I think that is not correct because uh, normally military personnel are not political although they exercise the right to vote but uh, they are not political nor have they been politicized except what we are seeing nowadays and um, and I should be in a position to compare because I've seen these elections from the time they started in the 50s and that's precisely why I wrote my letter to the chief election commissioner because he's supposed to be the principal government authority who has to do the elections and conduct them fairly and uh, freely. So he has a very heavy responsibility. We must make sure that no political parties, none whatsoever, misuse the image of a uniformed person or a soldier or a, or a sailor or an airman for furthering their political objectives. And it is up to the chief election commissioner to tell those people off and if need be, their candidates should be punished by whatever methods and means are that are available to him. They could be fined, they could be, you know, termed as illegible candidates or using unfair means to gather votes. So there are many ways in which the Chief Election Commissioner can take note of this and punish the errant uh, delegates concerned. Well, the armed forces have been totally secular all these years, almost 70 years. You know, we have people from all parts of India, all different castes, different uh, religious uh, leanings. So to induct something like this at this stage, to create any communal tension, whether it's by political means or otherwise, is not a good uh, development at all for our country.